Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Christ said what the Most High says, but that's not what the Bible said. Remember, if you if you say you're a Christian, what the Bible says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. These brothers have been dropping scriptures on you all day long, but you don't want to accept what God said. Guess what? Guess what? God said that your people are going to have to pay for the crime of your forefathers. Right? If you believe in Christ, you know, and if you believe in Jesus, you'll accept what is written in the Bible. Your there. problem is that you're so used to being on top of everybody, that everybody has to listen to what you got to say, that your opinion matters, but everybody else is beneath you. Well, guess what? You're, up, you're, 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 not, you're not significant in the eyes of the Lord. You know what you are? You know what your future going to look like? You want to know what your future look like? Your future is going to look like in chains and shackles. They have to pay for every moment that a black man was lynched. Pay for every moment that you destroyed a native in the community. Pay for everything. Let me get one scripture if I could. Give me Romans um, 10 and 1. Romans 10 and 1. Right, we're going to go right back to because you Christians love the, love, the, love the New Testament. Romans 10 and 1. Let's go. Listen, listen. To this. Take this with you. Go ahead. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Brethren, uh -huh. my heart's desire. Everybody know Paul is a disciple what, of, uh, of the Gentiles, right? But why Paul would say this? Read it from the top. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Brethren, uh -huh. my heart's uh -huh. desire uh -huh. and prayer uh -huh. to God uh -huh. for Israel. For who? For Israel. The whole world. For Israel. For who? Israel. For who? Israel. Israel. Don't sound like you're part of this. Read it again. Brethren, my heart's desire uh -huh. and prayer uh -huh. to God for Israel. Is for Israel. Israel is who? Right there, there's a sign right there. Blacks, Latinos, and indigenous, you are Israel. And Paul, and guess what? Most High want you to get saved. That's why he sends his prophet out here. Don't let you don't let us continue to believe what these oppressors have been teaching us for centuries. These oppressors have been teaching us that God loves everybody. But if that's so, then why we fill up the prisons the way we do? Why are children being aborted in the blind parent? Why are people are suffering the way we're suffering? Because we believe in their Christianity. Their Christianity, their version of Christianity is trash. It's complete trash. It is venomous for the black community. Venomous for the indigenous community. Venomous for the Latino community. Because of your Christianity, you done destroyed everything. You understand? You people are monsters. You can only understand justice for you, but when we show God's justice, now all of a sudden it includes everybody. Hell no. You think God is you think God is a moron like you? You think God don't think things through? You think God has is your has your level of intelligence? Hell no, he know way better than you, right? Absolutely, right? So he know what who you know who he can set this up um justice to. And when Christ comes, guess what? Give me one give me a Revelation 19. I gotta go there. I gotta go there real quick. 19 and 11. I'm gonna show you what Christ coming back to do. If you if you if you love Christ, you're gonna have to accept every little minute detail that Christ is going to do according to the scripture. You got it? Read Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Christ coming on the white horse. Read. And he and he that sat upon it, uh -huh. him was called faithful Glory. and true. And in righteousness he doeth judge. What? He doeth judge. What is judge? Judge means to punish. Somebody right. committed a crime, right? Like you European Americans. But well, guess what? Christ is going to do what? And judge uh -huh. and make war. Hold on. That, that Christ that you believe in, that, in, the, in, your, in your church loves everybody. But this Christ here of the Bible, he coming to bring judgment and war against the enemies of black people. Against right. enemies of his bad people, against the enemies of indigenous people. He ain't coming to hug you and sing kumbaya and roast marshmallows with you. Keep going. Verse 2, 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head 
where many cry. Why? Right, because not only is he going to bring the justice for blacks and Latinos and indigenous, guess what else he's going to do that they don't teach you in church? He's going to go around conquering every goddamn kingdom on the face of the earth That's by right. the way of the sword, chopping heads off and taking their crowns. He's going to take full authority of the planet earth. You weren't prepared for that in the church. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says the wicked flee when no man is doing it. We're showing you right here in the, in the scripture that Christ ain't coming to play. Christ ain't, the Most High is not sending Christ to have a good time. No, the Most High got a mission for Christ, and that's to save his people. Heck, these brothers been reading it all day. He's, been, he's coming to save his people from the wickedness of this empire that's portrayed by the greatest the greatest vagabond, the greatest criminal that ever walked the planet in history. And that's the European American. That's the right. European descendant people, you man. Our oppressors, you got it? That's yeah. right. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. Uh -huh. And he was clothed with a vesture uh -huh. dipped in blood. Hold on. Right there, that's right there is a cut. Right there is letting you know when Christ's coming. And like I said, it ain't for roasting marshmallows. It ain't play patty cake when you pe people to go to church. He's coming to chop heads off. That's, That's what right. the scripture says. But of course, you never learned that in church. Of course, it's easier. It's easier and comfortable to serve, to, to, you know, to believe that Christ loves everybody. But guess what? This right here ain't talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Church is all about bank, 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 bank. Right. They're, trying, they're all about filling up their bank accounts, living lustlessly, and lying to people. You know what I mean? But Christ, the real Christ, he ain't coming for none of that. Christ's garment is going to be dipped in blood. How is he going to be dipped in blood? Because he's going around bringing judgment and making war with the different kingdoms. Why? Because they had the children of God in, in captivity, even to this day. I don't know if you don't know this, but some of us don't even watch the news. Some of us are still living in limbo. Some of us believe that Christ loved everybody. Well, if that's true, then why are we having war right now in the Middle East? Right. If, if, if God is about peace, then why is there war? Huh? Why, is there, why is there people dying in the Ukraine and Russia and uh, Israel fighting Hamas? And now Lebanon is in the fight. Jordan is about to get all up in it. Huh? What about Yemen, right? All the people are fighting. All them people, there's bloodshed right now happening in the earth, right? right? You understand it if you're paying attention to the news. But if you're a good Christian, why should you Why should you watch the news? Why should it matter to you? I'm going to tell you why should it matter to you. Because guess what? This is important for blacks and Latinos and indigenous to be aware of what God is intending to do on this earth. He's coming to save his people from their sin. I don't want to hold the mic too long, so whoever's next, come on up. All right? Yeah. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Falling, falling, falling to rise no more. Falling, falling, falling to rise no more. I'm taking a look in the streets. It's real every day what I see. We constantly searching for peace. My people just wanna be free. We tired of the cell blocks and the bullshit. That lying nigga in the 